What's up, Internet? There has been a lot of movement in the entry-level case market. There are the well-known players like Rack, Techware, Fantech. But there are a lot of new players coming in. We're looking at Montech. But today, we're looking at Micronix, which is an even newer player. Hindi siya ganun kasikat. But we like to keep tabs on what's happening in the market so that we can also compare to the cases that we do have on stock. So this is the OM1 circle for Micronix. And when I take a look at entry-level cases, usually I'm looking for two things. One, does it look different? Yun nga, sobrang daming entry-level cases na you want something distinctive, yung hindi lang parang cookie cutter na approaching generic. So does it look good? And two, is it good quality? Di naman parang yero or delata pag inaano mo yung material niya. So those are the two basic things that we'll take a look at today with the OM1. First, the styling. Hindi siya usual G-Wiz Bang RGB. There's just a very subtle white circle fan here in the middle. Looks kind of like a cyclops. And they achieve this effect with basically blackout. This entire top upper part is blacked out. And then they etched out a circle through the tint. So it's very dark tint, can't see anything. And then they just have a circle cut out to allow the white light to come through. There are three included fans. Only two of them are white. One of them is non-white. And these are true static white. Hindi sila RGB na nakaset sa white. Again, because this is an entry-level build. Now, taste is very subjective. But to be honest, I like this front look. Bagay siya pang gaming, pero pwede rin siya sa office. So there's a versatility to this M01. What a lot of enthusiasts won't like, yung current meta for cases is mesh. Everybody loves them holes now. Gusto nila mas porous, mas fine as possible. But this is a throwback to earlier styles of cases. So this is solid front. You don't get a lot of air inflow in here. So at best, you wouldn't want to put a high-end rig. High-end means heat, means you need better airflow and better heat dissipation. You probably wouldn't put a high-end rig into this one. But certainly for an office build, no problem. And for entry-level gaming rigs, okay na rin siya. There is intake here on the side. And again, this is something we saw from cases like two or three years ago. Medyo one step generation-wise behind. So you do get intake here on the sides. But overall, that's really not a lot to suck air in from the outside. For performance, you really will look for another kind of case. There are standard things that we've come to expect from cases, even high-end cases which are present here, such as a PSU shroud. Cable management options are not bad, to be honest. There aren't the same amount of options that you would find, let's say, in Fractal Design or NZXT. But the there is a central canal here, sort of towards the front of the case, where it is beginner-friendly. You have a lot of options where you want to route your cables. Interestingly, they've done away with grommets. Grommets are sort of like a 50-50 thing. A lot of people look for them, a lot of people don't like them because after a while, they do kind of try to spread out and di na sila maganda tingnan. Although that was a staple for cable management, again in cases a couple of years ago, so I'm a little surprised that we don't find them here. Finally, the looks are complemented by this rear white fan. So you have two white fans, one in front, one in the rear, and then you have one last non-white fan here in the front for air intake. So looks-wise, I would say not bad, a bit distinctive. The front is easy to clean, and while you may get fingerprints on it, a smooth out will remove them just fine. And there's a satisfying roughness to the texture of the front panel, the non-glass part. Lastly, of course, you have your standard TG side panel, which is removable by screws, a touch I always like, even in higher-end cases. The case is roomy enough to fit fairly large components. So for CPU cooler, it can fit a max height of 160mm, quite tall. For GPUs, max length of 320mm, also quite long. And finally, you can support a 240mm AIO. Not too big, but basically standard medium length size for an AIO. I've talked about cookie cutter, and actually, if you've seen a lot of other cases, especially deep cool, this will remind you of the old Matrex series. Even the mesh top filter, the bottom PSU filter, all of them are straight out of the deep cool playbook. We were actually discussing in shop whether licensed lang tong design na to. So they took the basic design, tas medyo rin ito okay nila konte. But whether it's licensed or not, the design elements of that previous Matrex line are very visible, very recognizable in this type of case. Which is not a bad thing. The Matrex series, in its previous incarnation, was pretty good looking for its time. Now that case design has moved on, that look of a case from one generation ago is now seeping into the entry-level market. 
So looks wise, not bad. Quality wise, not bad also for the price. You do have to keep in mind that this is an entry level case. For higher level cases, when you tap around the case, there's a very satisfying deeper tap because the material used is a lot thicker, a lot more solid. You don't find that in the OM1, but you don't expect to at this price range. At this point, as long as it doesn't feel particularly flimsy, which it doesn't, the side panel does feel solid. So for an entry-level case, not bad thing overall build quality. I mentioned Deepcool before, and even the rear is very reminiscent of the Deepcool cases from a generation ago. But one good thing that was added to the Micronics OM1 is the USB 3 port here. You'd be surprised, a lot of our customers do ask, may USB 3 na ba yung case? And as time goes on, more and more people, because more and more devices are coming on the market, which have USB-C, and more and more people expect that it'll be easy to hook up those devices to their computer. So good addition by Micronics to put a USB 3 port here on top. Aside from that, not much really to go on about. It is a solid case, price is good, you're getting what you pay for. Kung kinakabahan ka to try out the brand since they are new on the market, like if you do go through their lineup and you see a case that you like, at least based on what we've seen here, you can reasonably expect that that case will be decent for the money that you've spent. Thanks for watching. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.